A former Nigerian oil minister, Diazani Alison Madweke, is facing charges in several countries, accused of using her office to amass a fortune from bribery. VOA senior analyst Jeffrey Young details the scope of her alleged international criminal enterprise. Allegations of massive corruption, bribery, and aided by protection at the highest levels. These charges are what former Nigerian oil minister Daizani Alison Madueke faces at home and also in the United States, Britain, and Italy. Officials say her pile of purported corruption-connected cash and properties could total close to a billion U.S. dollars. As oil minister from 2010 to 2015 during the term of Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan, Alison Madueke allegedly granted huge oil contracts to people who repaid the favors with cash and palatial properties in luxurious neighborhoods in Lagos, London and New York City. Recently, Nigerian authorities seized properties of hers in Lagos said to be worth some $37.5 million. The latest legal action against her came in July 2017 with a U.S. federal civil suit seeking to seize some $140 million in assets, including a $50 million Manhattan condominium and an $80 million yacht allegedly obtained for her by two associates. This after Britain arrested her in October 2015 on criminal money laundering charges connected to the purchase of at least four multi-million dollar luxury flats in London. The U.S. charges against Alison Madueke are civil rather than criminal, but the investigation could grow according to via Skype former U.S. State Department Nigeria specialist Matthew Page. That's sort of the first step that U.S. authorities are going after but it's likely that um, additional asset forfeiture cases and criminal charges against Madueke and her many, many associates and facilitators uh, will be forthcoming over the next few years. In 2015, uh, President Mohamedou uh, Buhari ended a system that allowed Alison Madueke and other government officials to deposit ministry funds into commercial banks rather than the central bank. This provided huge opportunities for abuse, as explained via Skype from Cape Town by Stellenbosch University law professor Sophie williams Elegby. So when we had that system, there was a lot of scope for abuse, and that system was being abused. You would have um, public officials put government money in a deposit money bank, and they would cream off the interest, um, of course, with the collusion of banking officials themselves. A major investigation involving Alison Madueke is also underway in Italy with an oil company called ENI and Shell. The magnitude of that alleged corruption is described via Skype from London by watchdog NGO global witness analyst Barnaby Pace. It is one of the biggest scandals in the history of the oil industry. They're alleged to have paid over a billion dollars that was diverted away from the Nigerian people majority of it alleged by prosecutors to have gone as bribes, including $500 million that was converted into cash in Nigeria and that the Italian authorities allege was used to bribe Nigerian officials, including, they say, Diazani Alison Madweke. Mohamedou Buhari's successful 2015 Nigerian presidential bid was built in large part on his pledge to fight government corruption. While he has indeed taken steps in that direction, analysts say that the effort has to include scrutiny of all officials, present and former, regardless of their political affiliations. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.